Here we are in section 1.4, exercises part C, the exam one review exercises. We're reviewing for exam one. Here we go. Find the following. Here we have a price and a tax rate. Now percents, what do we always do with percents? We'd multiply them, that's right. So we've got to take 7% of that 4520. $45.20, 7% of, that means we're timesing by point. 0, 07. Now when we move this decimal one, two places, that's a point zero seven. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times two is fourteen. Carry the one. Seven times five is thirty-five plus one is thirty-six. Carry the three. Seven times five four is twenty-eight plus three is thirty-one. Now how many decimal places do we have here? One two, three, four. Four places behind the decimal. One, two, three, four. So the decimal has to go right there. Okay, so what does that mean? That means the tax is three dollars and sixteen cents if we take this and round to the nearest penny. The, this is less than five, so that one stays down at a six. Three dollars and sixteen cents in tax. So if that's how much tax there was, and this is the price, this gets added onto it. So 45.20 plus 316. Notice there are two parts to this problem. The first was to figure out the amount of tax, and then we have to add that on to get the final price. 0 plus 6 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8 and four. So the final price is $48.36. And of that, $45.20 was the original price. Then they added a 7% tax. That 7% tax was $3.16 added on top of it. Good. Next problem. The attendees were 239. So there were 239 people that attended. 29% were men. That means, what, 71% were women. So how many men? we must take this percent and go of the original. Remember that will be two decimal places, one, two, so that's 0.29. We'll take 239 times 0.29. Good, nine times nine is 81. There's an eight. Nine times three is 27, plus eight is 35 carry the 3. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Let's do the second row in a slightly different color so we can keep it differentiated. So we'll put a purple there. So first, we've got to have a 0 because we scooted over 1. 2 times 9 is 18, 8, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 2 is 4, there was nothing carried, so that's just a 4. Good, now we add them. And we get 1 plus 0 is 1, 5 plus 8 is 13, carry the 1, 7 plus 1 plus 1, that's 9, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So we get 6, 9, 3, 1. How many decimal places are here? Uh, 1, 2. So there we have 69.31 men. That doesn't make any sense. 0 0.31, we better round to the nearest person. Okay, so 69 men. Okay, 45. Price is $15.30. The discount is 30%. So again, let's change this to a decimal by going 1, 2. That's a 0 0.3. And it will be 30% of 1530. So we are going to take $15.30 times 0 0.3. That's 30% of, it means times. 0.3 times 0 is 0. 0.3, sorry, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 5 is 15. And you'll carry the 1. And 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. And there are 1, 2, 3 decimal places behind the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, right there. So $4.59 is the discount. $4.59 is the discount. Now very similar to this one where we added this guy right here 
We're not adding, but it's going to affect the original price. This is a discount, which means we're going to subtract. So let's do it with, let's see, the amount of the discount is here. So we've got to take for the second part of the problem, 1530 discounted by that 30%, which we found was 459. So we're going to subtract. Okay, 0 minus 9, we can't do that. So we're going to take this around 2 and take 10 and add it onto there. So we get 10 over here. And this is instead of $15.30, this is $15.2010. Same thing, but now we can subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. Indeed. So 2 minus 5, nope, that'll give us a negative number. So we're going to borrow again from here. And that will add 10 more right there. So 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 1 minus nothing is 1. So the final price will be $10.71. And that kind of makes sense. We went down 30%, so this 459, and it went all the way down to 1071. Good, number 46. Round to the nearest 10. Let's look at the columns. Here's the ones column, there's the tens column, so we're rounding to the nearest 10. So we've got to look at the column right before it. And is that less than 5? Yes, it is. So between 580 and 590, this guy is closer to 580. Let's double check these answers. And there we have on 43, the $3.16 in uh, tax, and then the final. We have 69 men on 44. We have the discount of 459, and the 1071 is the final price, and 580. Good.